Hi guys, it's Friday again, so welcome back to my channel. My name is Ams. So today's video, I'm going to do some repairing. So I went to my local market uh, last weekend and I able to buy some succulent plants. So I have three succulent plants here that I would like to repot. So I have one here. Uh, this is Echeveria chihuahuaensis. It's a little bit tan twisted, this one. So I'm going to put the name of these plants on the screen. So this is Echeveria chihuahuaensis. So beautiful plant. And I also have Crassula. It's a variegated Crassula. Got a beautiful, nice pink tip around when exposed to bright light. And I also have these Ripsalis. So I'm going to put the name, the proper name of this plant on the screen. And I also have this base I'm going to use for this plant. So I got these vases from a secondhand shop. So I like going to the secondhand shop and look around um, some stuff that I can use to my plant. So nice and beautiful. So I love going to the second hand shop because uh, I can find different kinds of pots there that I can use for my succulent. So this one here, it's not really a pot, but we can use it. This is like a ceramic one. And I already drilled a hole, two holes here. And the same with this one. This is just a flower, flower base. And I also drill a hole. So these are the containers that I'm going to use for my plants. So with my soil, I just use a regular potting mix. So they are very, uh, they are well-drained soil that I got from my local hydro shop. I mix up with um, compost, uh, perlite, and I put a little bit of uh, fertilizer, slow-release fertilizer, which is Osmocot. And that's about it. So I'm going to repot first the chihuahuaensis. Before I go further, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will be notified for the future videos to come. Thank you and enjoy. So we will start with Echeveria chihuahuaensis has a bluish gray leaves and pinkish tip. This plant prefer full sun and can be grown outdoor, but I place mine under cover receiving morning sun. Full to partial sun is best with this plant. They say that this plant types prefers warm climate, so best to acclimate it first if you have a cold area weather before placing it outdoor. This plant should not sit on the water and excess amount of water should be avoided. Next, we will do the crassula. With the crassula, I'm going to use um, what's here? This one. This plant is a crassula perforata variegata. It has a pale green leaf and yellow or white stripes, and the edge of the leaf has a nice pink or slight red color when received more bright light. Best grown in bright light or filtered sunlight and can be acclimated partial sun to full sun but the leaves can be easily scorched in intense heat so it needs some shade in the afternoon sun and only water this plant when the soil is dried out mix up a little bit of sedum burritos I'm going just to pluck the leaves. Okay. 
And I also noticed that Crassula perforata variegata loved by aphids, mealybugs, and as well as fungal diseases. But overall, it's a beautiful succulent plant that can be used as a filler or trailer in an arrangement. Next one is our Rapsalus. This is Rapsalus coral cactus. It's a shrubby to bushy plant with light green stems and with cluster of tiny rice shaped joints. Best grown in morning filtered sun and full shade in the afternoon, but do not thrive in direct sunlight. Rapsalus is not a drought tolerant. So regular watering is essential, but overwatering can weaken stems and rotted roots. Can be grown indoor, away from window that still receive midday or afternoon sun. And I'm going to show you more. I'm going to share it to you some of my other plants that I plant in a second-hand uh, stuff. So I have this one here. This is a um, ghost plant. It is a Dioptopetalum paraguayense. So this is at least a year old. So I planted this one last year. And I got this beautiful pot here from the second hand shop. I got it for four dollars but look at how beautiful is that there and I also have hmm, this one so this one I haven't uh, repotted yet but I'm going to put this here and look at this chair this chair yellow jack it's so beautiful this is also four dollars so how about this one so this is a market tail and this cup is also a second hand stuff that I got from the second hand shop So that's it for today guys thank you for watching my video i hope you enjoy planting with me and please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so every time i have a new video you will be notified and you will not miss a thing so that's it for today and i will see you next time bye